Look at this. This is a new web page being previewed inside Windsurf. And now I'm going to use its new feature, the select element to start requesting changes. You can see here at the bottom that the element was selected and added to Cascade. Now I want to change the color of this element to white so it offers better contrast. So let's ask it to do that. Now you can see that it's generating and implementing the edits. It correctly identified that we were pointing to the text in the hero component, so we didn't have to specify anything. It just understood what needed to be done. We accurately told it which element was faulty and needed to be changed. And in my opinion, this is one of the biggest advantages. So let's go ahead and restart the development server. And as you can see, the text color was successfully changed. As I was saying, this is one of the best ways to make a front end with AI. Because now, instead of manually providing instructions for every change, you can simply point to the element that needs modification and it will take care of the rest. It's pretty cool and speeds up development significantly. Now let's try another example. This time I'll select the entire testimonial section. and ask it to add animations to the cards. It's now implementing those animations, and this is another reason why Windsurf is now superior to Cursor. It's becoming the go-to choice for front-end developers because this feature is incredibly powerful. We did run into some errors, but Windsurf is fixing them by itself. The animations have now been added, so let's go ahead and accept the changes. And as you can see right here, the animations are fully functional and look really smooth. This is a super quick way to implement front-end features as efficiently and quickly as possible. Now let's add a pop-up to this Get Started button. So let's go ahead and do that. Previously, whenever I created frontends using Cursor or even Windsurf, if an error occurred, I had to take a screenshot and let the tool guess which element needed fixing. For example, if the color of a single text element was off, I had to go through the entire process again, which was extremely frustrating. But now, with this feature, building and iterating on frontends is much, much faster. It has now applied the pop-up. So let's accept the edits and restart the server. And as you can see, the pop-up was successfully implemented. In addition to the feature I just showed you, Windsurf has also introduced unlimited DeepSeek V3. This means you won't consume any credits when using DeepSeek V3 with it. On top of that, the latest flagship models, Claude 3.7 with its thinking mode and GPT 4.5 are now available bringing the best from both Anthropic and OpenAI. Now, let's talk about some other cool features. First, there's the Previews feature, which I just demonstrated. In addition, we now have the Tab to Import feature. Initially, they had Autocomplete, which simply inserted standard text. Then, they introduced Supercomplete, which made full edits. In the last update, they added Tab to Jump, allowing you to quickly navigate and edit different parts of your code. Now, they've taken it a step further with Tab to Import, which automatically adds necessary imports to your files while you write. So, for example, if you use a dependency, it will be automatically imported, no need to manually add it. Moving on, Cascade now has built-in linter integration. Previously, if there were any linter errors, you had to manually ask Cascade to fix them. Cursor already had this feature, and now Windsurf does too making editing even smoother. Next, we have suggested actions. As you know, Cascade is a flow state editor, meaning the agent collaborates with you, remembers your workflow, and makes intelligent suggestions based on what you're doing. If you request a specific change, it will proactively suggest related improvements, making your coding experience even more efficient. And since MCPs are at an all-time high in popularity, given their incredible functionality, Windsurf now provides built-in documentation for them, making it easier than ever to integrate them into your workflow. Another really cool addition is drag and drop file support in Cascade. Instead of manually referencing files, 
you can now simply drag and drop them directly into the editor, saving time and effort. Lastly, admin control for models has also been introduced. So these are the latest updates to the Windsurf code editor. The preview and select to edit features are game changers, allowing you to build front ends incredibly quickly. And with these new additions, iterating on your designs is now easier than ever. If you found this helpful, make sure to like and subscribe for more AI powered dev tools.